The wheel is 264 feet, Jeff. Can you imagine it? I'm attempting to. I bet you can see for 100 miles at the top. We should make that our first priority. Whatever pleases you the most. You please me the most. You mean you are not weary of me after an entire day of marriage? I will never be weary of you. I shall hold you to that, my dear. <laughs> I think we've arrived. Isn't this grand? As advertised. Very nice. Let's check in. Are we the only ones here? I'm sure that was a mad dash first thing this morning to get to the fair. Try again? Well, this does not bode well for the level of service we're in store for. Everyone must be busy elsewhere. That's no way to run a business. Slow service. That means they're making sure everything is perfect. That's my Marie, always finding that silver lining. My sincere oh. apologies. For both startling you and for making you wait. My attention was needed elsewhere. I promise from here on out it will be nothing but silver linings. Welcome to the World's Fair Hotel. Please, sign in here. First time in Chicago, I'm going to hazard a guess and assume you're here to take in the exposition. The fair, yes, but that's not all. Today is a very special day for us. Oh, a honeymoon. How very, very lovely. <clears throat> Perhaps my wife, Mrs. Whitman, would like to sign. <sighs> yes, today's the beginning of our honeymoon. Congratulations. In that case, an upgrade is in order. A honeymoon suite it is. Oh, well, uh, are the rates that much higher? <laughs> I think nothing of it. The same rates as your regular room. The upgrade is on us. You're our first honeymooners. How kind. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Henry Howard Holmes. You have a lovely hotel, Mr. Holmes. Well, thank you very much. I designed and built most of it myself. You're an architect then? Architect, designer, builder, doctor, artist. I'm a man of many interests. Impressive. Please have a look around. We have sundries and gifts at the pharmacy counter. I'll take your luggage up to your room and ensure that everything is in order. Just 
make a note if you decide to purchase anything, and we will add it to your bill. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. We appreciate it. The pleasure is all mine. forget to bring. Oh, pardon me, miss. Careful, you. My husband gets awfully cross with men who act fresh. Hmm, <laughs> he sounds like a ripe fellow. How's the marriage going? Lovely. Thanks for asking. Well, let's just head up. I'm sure the room is ready. See anything good over there at the jewelry counter? Anything fancy? Wouldn't you like to know? I wonder what's in here. I'm starting to think I've gone and married a thrill seeker. Ferris wheels, forbidden rooms. Are we looking for excitement? Perhaps. <sighs> Ugh. Nothing but an unfinished room. See what happens when you chase a thrill? If this is you trying to get out of the Ferris wheel. I know you won't be denied. Wait, what's that? <gasps> Don't move. That was a thrill. You won't think it's thrilling if we're sleeping on the street after getting kicked out of here. Let's go. Welcome, newlyweds, to the honeymoon suite. <laughs> Thank you kindly, Mr. Holmes. Do enjoy your stay. If you'll excuse me, I have work to return to. I'm sure we'll see each other again soon. This place is fit for a king. Or my queen. <sighs> oh, you. Kiss this. Oh. That is not very wifely of you. <clears throat> hey! Ah! Bullseye! You asked for it. <clears throat> <laughs> Should I be frightened? <clears throat> if you're smart. <clears throat> <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. 
mercy, mercy. Okay, you win. Anything broken? Only my pride. How about a peace offering? Hmm. This feels like some sort of treacherous plot. Not at all. I have a gift for you. Close your eyes and face the mirror. Aren't you clever and romantic? If I get a pillow to the face, I will sock you right in the kisser. <laughs> Is there a problem? No. Open your eyes. Oh, Jeff, it's lovely. I love it. Good. <laughs> Victory is mine. I'll let you have that bath now. jammed shut. Maybe if we put a little weight into it? <sighs> Open sesame! <laughs> Thank you. Why don't you have a shave while I take a quick bath? Then we can reconvene. I know that word. It's French for something illicit. <sighs> Shush. Shave. I think I forgot to pack my razor and kit. I'm sure the pharmacy downstairs has them. Don't be too long in that bath. Don't you worry. This was the way we came up. What? Ah! Oh my God. Three. Is that you, darling? Jeff? Oh, are we playing another game? <laughs> okay, Mr. Sneaky. You can't sneak up on me, Mr. <gasps> Holmes! Hello, my What are dear. you doing in here? Jeff! I don't think he can quite hear you. Ah! Ah! Get away from me! 
Hopefully I'm not finished yet. I said get... Don't fight it. Will only hurt more if you do. <coughs> You're only prolonging the inevitable. What? What are you? What have you done? Calm yourself, sir. It would seem your wife has had an accident. Is there a problem, sir? For everything, everything in its place. Well, look at this. Oh, it's wonderful. Only the best for you, my dear. Mother would simply die. It's so I say, popular. good man, do you work here? Hello. Welcome to the World's Fair Hotel.
Oh, you're here. Have you been waiting long? It's always good when a familiar face returns. Obviously, you're in the mood for a new tale. It's so good to have company. For a long time, I was on my own. I can barely recall a time when I wasn't here, watching over these tales. And what good are stories without somebody to experience them? This is a story about those who create and the lengths they might go to for their art to be made pure. Art can elicit all sorts of reactions. Delight, inspiration, desire, yes, but also doubt, fear, dread. The way you react, the decisions you make, will affect this story. Hidden in the world, you'll find dark pictures. They give glimpses of the possible consequences of your choices. And sometimes it's the smallest choices that can have the biggest repercussions. You're responsible for what happens. You're culpable. I can't interfere. That's very much against the rules. I can only observe what happens and record any significant events. Oh. Ever seen one of these? They're very old. People used to call them obols. They'd put them in the mouth of the recently deceased to pay the ferryman. Look out for them. You'll find them in the strangest places. I'll be happy to exchange any that you find, and I'll certainly make it worth your while. Well, shall we start? The game is afoot. I will be watching. My name is Kate Wilder. I've got a master's in criminal psychology. I'm an investigative journalist and hope to make a difference. You may have recently seen my interview on Chicago AM on Decorative House. Uh, uh, and, uh, and yeah, it's really tough when just being honest means everyone thinks you're a bitch. I'm not sure I've got issues to deal with, same as everyone. I I'm working on it. I. Hey, I'm Mark. I study photography at UCLA. Um, at a great time. Really want to get back into some serious photography. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a job. I've been a key grip and lighting tech for years. See a problem, light it. You don't often meet someone like that. Man, how do you even start? I'm sick of being on my own. Sorry, do you start with qualifications or, um, like personal info? Because I don't, I mean, will anyone access this? I'm kind of private, actually. Uh, yeah, Charlie Lonnett, UK originally. I've uh, been here for 20 years. The last series was so on track. It was, uh, it was a very beautifully conceived and um, didn't quite uh, uh, hit the mark as I was hoping it would. It's a fucking mess, to be honest with you. I think we've heard quite enough. Enough? <laughs> oh, I've barely begun, Your Honor. You don't seem to understand. I was born with the devil in me. I could not help the fact that I was a murderer any more than a poet can help the inspiration to sing. Bury me deep, Your Honor. Make sure they fill my pine box with cement. Put me deeper than anyone else and cover the ground with more cement. Cause trust me. Just being dead ain't enough to stop me from killing again. On May 7th, 1896, Herman Mudgett, AKA Henry H. Holmes, was sent to the gallows. His neck did not snap from the force of hanging. Records indicate he hung, slowly suffocating for over 15 minutes, until finally the monster was dead. 
America's first serial killer confessed to 27 murders. But as investigators sifted through the traces he left behind, following his path from city to city, the number grew significantly. Nearly 200 lives. America's first serial killer, and possibly the worst. He was buried as requested, under concrete. Was he hoping to hide from God's judgment? Or did he truly want to keep the devil from climbing out and killing again? So, what do you think? To be honest, Charlie, this is a pilot. Hold that thought. Lonnet Entertainment. Charles Lonnet, please. Speaking. Charlie is fine. My name is Grantham Dumet. What can I do for you, Mr. Dumet? Actually, it's what I can do for you. Hear me out. I'm certainly grateful to you, Mr. <clears throat> Dumet. This all sounds amazing, but I, uh, I just, I'm waiting to hear what the catch is. No offense. None taken. I'm in a privileged position. I don't need for much, but my time is at a premium. We need to do this today. I'll send a car for you this afternoon, 4 p.m., be ready. This afternoon? We're talking a couple of days shoot. I've told my team they're free this weekend, and frankly, they're a temperamental bunch. Without them, this conversation <laughs> is dead in the water. We, uh... I've told you what I have. Please don't waste my time. Am I sending the car or not? Yes, of course. We're in. I'll get them there. I promise. Let's do it. Mr. Dumet send you. We... Right. Let's load up, guys. All right, got it. I'm good. <clears throat> Sorry. Are you? I mean... This is that ring light that makes you all glowy. We leave it behind it. Oh, you're right. This is going to be grand, people. Adventure. <laughs> Excitement. Anyone? Road trip. Huzzah. Woohoo. Hooray. This is going to be great, guys. So do we know where we're going exactly? You don't like surprises? You know what this just reminds me of? Don't say it. Topeka? Exactly. Me, no money in my pocket, a dead phone, and lost in the middle of goddamn Topeka. That wasn't my fault. It was 100% your fault, because you fly by the seat of your ass. So, come on, Charlie. What do we know about this guy? He's rich, he's a recluse, he's obsessed with H.H. H. Holmes. Totally sane, I'm sure. We're going to a property he inherited from a relative. That's who had the obsession with Holmes. Some of the rooms are full recreations from the murder castle. Dumet has blueprints, documents, artifacts. When I said this would save the show, I was not exaggerating. And you substantiated all of this? Just trust me. Sorry for all the mystery. Before we go any further, I have to ask that we lock up your phones for safekeeping. While this may sound strange that I invite you to film the collection inside my home, I cannot allow any personal devices that Was may share information that can affect about my this? business or lifestyle. There are rules. All footage you wish to use must be authorized by me first. I require privacy and discretion. I must insist. His place, his rules. Look, what he's offering us is worth it. Could be making us pay, but he isn't. If this is all he asks, then we do. Fine. For the show. I'm telling you, this is gonna be great. You said that in Topeka.
this dude is so rich, shouldn't he have servants or something? This guy gonna help? <clears throat> no, really. I got it. Thanks, bro. Don't sweat it, jackass. Okay. So now what? I'd love to get some footage of the lake and the scope of this. Not with all the mist and fog. There, from on high, we'll get a better look. That's certainly um, up there. The, the visuals will be great, and we can frame up over the mist. Charlie, you'll hack up a lung before you're halfway up there. I'm fit as a butcher's dog. Mark, this is crazy. But we'll be fine. Let's go, Charlie. Be careful, guys. Nice knowing you. Come on. going to be heard from miles away. Well, yeah, I know that in theory, but... Oh, so much for plan A. We must be able to work our way around. Come on. Anything for the shot, right? Doesn't look too serious. The warning about everything falling into the ocean. I'm going to say we trusted and not die. Nah, this sign is something the lawyers made them put up. I'm sure it's fine. Hard disagree. Listen, Mark, I just wanted to say, um, thanks for backing me up, man. What? About getting this footage? No, for the whole trip. You know some of the crew can be challenging to work with. Jamie and Kate would never have agreed to come if you hadn't been on board. I figured that the episode was such a mess, we needed all the help we could get. Right. Yeah. I guess we do. Must have been quite a storm. Rap, I'd like to take a couple weeks off, go see my family. I need you in post. I really appreciate that discerning eye of yours, you know. I've got a lot going on at the moment, Charlie. Oh, right, yeah, of course, sure. Take a couple of weeks. Get your head together. I appreciate it. I'll be fine in post on my You should do the same. Take some time out. You got any family you can go and bother? Oh, well... No, Mrs. Bonnet, you got hiding in some closet somewhere? Married to the job. Married to the job? <laughs> How's that marriage working out? Well, from what I hear about real marriages, pretty damn good. <laughs> Married to the job.
Christ, what the hell is that? A mannequin, you know, just hanging out. Maybe it's part of some old museum display or something. Right, that's probably it. Coming. Yeah. Just looking at the light on the mist. How is that gonna fit into the show? It just caught my eye. Coming. Always the photographer. I can't exactly turn it off. There's a lot of crossover between the creative stuff and the commercial stuff. Hmm. You sure about that? Because crossover with Kate hasn't exactly we need to let that drop the weekend. Just making sure your head's in the game. This thing hasn't been manned in ages. Why's the horn still going? Because they didn't decommission the fog. It's all automatic now. This looks pretty old. What's that? Just some old coin. Find the penny, pick it up. Look, sorry I give you a hard time now and again, but I really couldn't make these shows without you. That's not true. I may be driving this car. What car? The Lonnet Entertainment car. But you're the one who keeps the engine going. It's not how cars work. Jesus, you try and give someone a compliment. Thanks, Charlie. I get it.
Just a little breaking and entering. How are you not in jail? Christ, what the hell is that? Nice to meet you too. Just need some fresh sheets, some nice drapes. And six gallons of sanitizer. What in God's name is this? Ah! It moved. Get going. Be okay, it's all gonna be okay. Look at this, it's perfect. Come on, get shooting. I want you to pan across the lake until the island comes into shot, then zoom into that lighthouse. Look, it's all right. Come on. We better get back. That him? I don't know. We just had the one call. Uh, how did he know what our show was about in the first place? Uh, actually, I didn't ask. That's weird. Let's just play nice, OK? Hello, Mr. Lonnet. That's me. I'm Grantham Dumet. Everyone climb aboard and we'll head out. This is Mark. Mark. Erin, Jamie. Ladies. And this is Kate. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Dumet. I'm looking forward to seeing all it is you have to offer. We truly appreciate this. Lovely to meet you all. What say we get underway? Again, I really can't thank you enough for this opportunity. Of course. Was it your great uncle you said that... Um... Let's get to where we're going. I'll explain everything later. Sure. Of course.
let's get up to the hotel. Uh, please, let's stay close. Stick together. Is it dangerous here? No, of course not. You sure? Because you don't seem sure. It's perfectly safe. But we are a long ways from help if somebody gets hurt. So please, take care. Looks like things have buttoned up tight around here. God. This way. Don't worry about your bags. I'll make sure they're brought. Slow, deep breaths, Charles. Try not to cough up a diseased lung. I'll be fine. Just pretend there's a carton of smokes at the top of the hill. You're right. He takes his security very seriously. I wonder what he's afraid will get in. Maybe you should be asking what he's trying not to let out. Jamie. Just saying. You watch too many horror movies. He values his privacy. We've known that right from the start. We've known that for about two hours. Just go. Mark, get your camera. I want to grab a quick intro from here. I need some shots leading up to the house. Don't need the whole journey. Kate, talking to camera, then I'll direct you from there, OK? No photos. No recording of me at all. Is that clear? I'm a very private person. Don't worry, Mr. Dumas. Discretion is Lona Entertainment's motto. You want the usual intro stuff, Charlie? Please. The light is good. I'm ready to go. Aaron? It sounds clear. OK, let's go for a tech then. Is Kate's face ready? Bitch, I'm always camera ready. Stop trying to make me like you. Rolling. Speed. And action. I've just arrived on the private island which claims to have genuine artifacts from H.H. H. Holmes' reign of terror. I'm heading to the house right now. Perfect, Kate. Now turn to face the house and start to walk. OK, that's enough. And cut. We really do need to get going. Anything you say, Mr. Dumas? This way. You'll steal some more shots, right? Obviously. Mr. Dumas is being really restrictive. I noticed. I want you to get a look around without him knowing. Matt is entitled to his privacy. He's caging. I want to know what he's trying to hide. What do you want to do? What you did that time with those cops in Glendale. Seriously? Ah! Oh, ow! Oh, oh my damn it! What happened? You okay? Oh. Did you baby ego again? We should get her up to the hotel. Oh, my God, I can barely move it. Jamie, stay with her. Why me? Because you know first aid. Remember how you patched her up in Glendale? Oh, right. OK. We'll find some ice and a bandage and come back. You have that at the hotel? Yes, sure. Then let's go. What is going on? Come on. I'll clue you in later. Been taking acting classes again? Yeah, yeah. What's Charlie want? A better lay of the land. And we're the scouts because? I'm charming, and you can hotwire your way past security. Come on. ask you something and get a straight answer? You know, without you making a smart-ass reply or taking a shot at me. That works both ways. Fine. Look, tell me the truth. Is there any saving this show? Maybe. If there's some sort of magical holy grail of footage or information to be had here. You think that's likely? No. At best, we'll get some nice B-roll. That's not going to save our asses.
Nice. Bit of a scramble. Watch your head. He could have told us to dress for a trek. Try not to fall and die. I don't want to see Mark cry. Thanks for the concern. Really. Wonder where this goes. It's straight up and down the hill. Yeah. But what's on the other end? Do you live out here on this island? Shh, get down. With your family? My wife is... She died. Oh, shit. Sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. Come on, we're about there. They didn't see us. Let's go. This is ridiculous. There's nothing out here. What about over there? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Maybe this is the way. Uh, Jesus! Ah! I heard you were looking for a new place. Not sure I can afford the rent on this one. Wonderful. Natural light, though. <laughs> Looks like Dumet has a family. wanted to go on nature hikes, I wouldn't have moved to the city. This shit is not in my job description. Reminds me of shit summer camps. If I can get the car moving and stop it here, we'll be able to get across. Maybe we can get this thing working. Jamie, can you fix this?
What's through here? Hear that? Wonder what these are. No harm trying. Potassium hydroxide. So much better. I guess I just needed to rest it for a minute. I think I'm okay. You found a shortcut up the hill. I really need you to stay where I say. You got it, Mr. Dumet. We're all here now. Let's head on. Everyone stay under the watchful eye of Mr. Dumet, please. Kate. What do you think? A summer camp from hell. Whatever. We're gonna find out what's up his sleeve before too long. Don't worry about that. Coming or what? Uh-huh. You afraid of heights? Maybe. Yes. gonna die just go <laughs> oh my god relax mark oh that serious drop you good oh man want a piggyback ride don't be an asshole Okay, sorry. Remember what your therapist friend said? That belittling your neuroses is not an effective strategy to help you overcome them. I know. I'm saying I'm sorry. Thank you. Here, give me your hand. That's it. Look, it's fine. I'm not looking. <laughs> Don't look down. Yeah. <laughs> Not so bad. <sighs> Thank you. You always knew how to get me through the shit, didn't you? We should catch up to Mr. Dumet. Where is everyone? Apologies, uh, they're all city folk. Come on, let's go. We're losing the day, people.
this. Wow. Mr. Dumas, this place is magnificent. Yeah. Maybe this won't be a waste of a weekend. Hello. I wonder who you are. What are you doing? I... I saw a little girl. Up there. Maybe it's your one fan. And now she's lost forever. You are such a dick. Everything in here is fragile. Please be careful. Man, this is brilliant. Whoa. Look at this. It's amazing. This is intense. Would you all mind signing in at the desk, please? Uh, this isn't everything. I'm sure the rest is almost here. I I'll make sure it gets to your rooms. Kate's makeup case is slowing it down. Erin, cigarettes. Blue backpack. Settle in, and I'll meet you all at dinner. At eight. Mr. Dumas, I cannot say thank you enough times. This is truly fantastic. I told you all this was a good plan, didn't I? <laughs> I told you. Busy, busy. You've been out in a bad old day, and I have to sit here worrying. Gone all day, and not a word from you. Sorry. You're jumpy. Oh my god. I think I peed a little. How did you not hear me coming? I was... I don't think we're the only ones here. Kate saw a little girl looking out a window at us when we were outside. That's who I saw. A little girl. Mr. Demet probably has family, a staff, maybe friends. Who knows? That said, this place does give me the willies. It's, um, it's unique. Are you singing? Oh, yeah, that's my being scared song. This is my don't be scared song. Sing it <laughs> and I won't be scared long. <laughs> Doesn't really work. I bet. 181. Uh, I think I'm around the corner. 183? This is me. Okay. Okay. Good luck out there. Don't get lost. Scream if you need me for anything. Thanks. I got you. Nothing to be scared of. Actually, hey. Yeah? Why don't you hang a second while I unpack, then I can help you find your room? Something about this place makes me want to use the buddy system. Yes, thanks. I'd end up lost, probably. It's, it's just a haul, dude. And here we are. Well, it's, um, cozy? Mm, cozy is fun. If we have to double up like last time, we've married by morning. You talk in your sleep. Not sure I ever told you that. Sure. 
What did I say? Actually, it was just a bunch of incoherent swearing. Oh, I was awake. I was reading Kate's social media posts. Ugh, that bitch. Okay, don't hate me, but she's been kind of nice to me. I mean, I think she's more upset about Mark than she lets on. Lies. She's a robot. Uh, where's the bathroom? Wait, what? Old school. Ah, uh, gross school. What do I have to pee in the middle of the night? Am I gonna walk in on Charlie sitting on the pot? Guess that means there's no mini bar either. Huh? Shows where you know. What is that? Wine, genius. Oh, I feel like if we start drinking, Charlie will find out and lecture me and make me feel like an asshole again. Yeah, he does that. But we're not on the clock. Doesn't throw a rig into shoot. Which is hard to do drunk. <laughs> I'm not suggesting we get full on hammered before we work. Why are you doing that? I'm thirsty. Also, you're cute when you're worked up. I don't... cute? You think I'm cute? Hmm? Oh. Got a stick on my own if you want to share a lip cooties. Thanks, but I can find mine. Where'd it go? Uh, it's uh, all the way against the wall. See it? <coughs> you okay? <coughs> Shit. <coughs> you trying to scare me now? <coughs> no. Revenge? Because good job. You sure you're okay? Because, yeah, maybe me scaring you didn't help, did it? No. But seriously, it's not your fault. I just, I, I try to pretend like it isn't a thing, you know? I, like, I don't want to be depending on an inhaler. I try to mind over matter it, but dust and allergies and I just need to be more careful. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. So, uh, yeah, cozy. <laughs> You gonna try that? And now you're poisoned. It's not that bad. You're not lying? It's piquant. Decent vintage. Sure. I'm getting oaky undertones, a hint of citrus. And I want to say a strong, healthy amount of moldy sweat socks. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I hate you. You are such a liar. Oh, sorry. I thought you meant to thinking you were a cute thing. Really? Um, if my cheeks are red, it's from this wine. Not because I am bashful. I swear. Really. Sorry. Didn't mean to make it feel weird. I, uh, yeah, it's just, we work together and Charlie is always on me about being more professional and- I get it. No, I mean, I, I'm not saying I don't appreciate it. Erin. Or that I don't think you're cute too. It's just, um. What are you doing? I, oh my God, I, uh, I... <laughs> oh, you bitch! I'm just fucking with you. I wanted to kiss you for months. I just was scared to make a real move. Oh! Oh, sorry, sorry. Who is that? <sighs> 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 
enjoying yourself out here like some sort of pervert? Sorry, did I uh, interrupt something here? No, we're just talking shop. We're worried about the power grid handling all of our gear. Yeah, yes. If this place is running on a generator, we need to know what it's putting out. I don't care what you guys are doing. Then why are you lurking? I can't find my room, and I need a fucking cigarette. <laughs> These funny shapes are numbers. They go up and down in order. Thank you. I've just been down there. Look, give me 10, then we should get a rough plan for getting our first shot. We have all evening. Can't we plan after dinner? I'd like to chill for a minute after the trek getting here. I want to be shooting after dinner. You've got 10 minutes. OK. We'll be down in a few then. Oh, Erin, I checked my blue bag. No cigarettes. That's where I put them. Come and show me. Maybe one of us is colorblind and doesn't know what a blue bag is. <sighs> to be continued, then? Yes, definitely. Good luck finding your rooms. Well? I'm looking. Oh, Kate wanted you to have this. Breaking down walls, navigating the maze of anxiety. Are you fucking kidding me? I think she thought it might help with your stress, or... Absolutely not. I'm not stressed, okay? Do I look fucking stressed? Uh... That was rhetorical. Well, your cards came out nice enough. Oh, yeah. Embossing. Makes a huge difference. You old guys love business cards. <laughs> old school. You old school guys. I also put it on heavy stock and did the logo in foil. Damn. I should have had one ready for Mr. Dumet. Did you find them? I... no. I swear I put them in here. I don't understand. <sighs> Jesus. Check the other bag. Didn't you already? Just look. It's only clothes and, uh, uh, this. Notice of eviction. The studio? I paid the studio rent out the wrong account and the check bounced. It's nothing. I just have to use another. It's fine. So you're saying not to worry? Worry about finding my bloody cigarettes. They're gone, Charlie. Gone? Just like that? Are you saying somebody took them? I... I don't... Actually, I can see Kate doing that. Or Jamie. I'm sorry. It's fine. Let's just get on with things. This place is massive. Surely there is a pack of cigarettes in here somewhere. Even if they're ancient... You need them that bad? There was a bar off the lobby. There must be cigarettes in the bar, right? I mean, technically, it's not legal to smoke in bars, so... Come on, we're checking. 
If you find them first, all will be forgiven. It's my spare cap. Exactly the same? Well, it suits me. What's weird about that? So, I know you said it wasn't a thing, but that bank notice... You're fixating, which normally I applaud, but not about this. I mean, you'd tell us if we were in danger of losing our jobs, right? It's television. Everyone is always in danger of losing their jobs. Sure, but... It's fine. Erin, please. I've squared it all with the network. We're still working on this final episode, and they're paying your salary, not me. Well, but... You have to let this go. We're fine, Erin, okay? Hey, Charlie, I was hoping next season maybe I could do more with the sound design, more creative stuff. Erin, what you already do for this company is very valuable to us. Carrying your bags and picking up your laundry? Absolutely. To get ahead in this industry, you have to pay your dues, show you're ready to muck in. I... 
I think you should get an assistant. An assistant? Oh, it was just a stupid idea, Charlie. I'm an just... An assistant? A personal assistant? Sort of. And then I could help out with the editing. Pardon me? The editing? The audio mix. Look, I just think you've got so much to give, so much experience. And it's an opportunity to pass that knowledge on. Right. Yes, I suppose it is. And an assistant wouldn't lose my cigarettes, would they? Exactly. So, do you still want to direct movies, Charlie? I am directing. No, but I mean real movies. With a big budget and big stars. Erin, there's something important that you have to understand. In the work that we do, the very important work, the truth is the star. Oh, right. Yeah, sorry, Charlie. So you don't want to direct movies. Can we move on from this? Hey, maybe Mr. Dumet is in the back office. You could just ask him about cigarettes. Jackpot. Erin, I found the key. Why don't I go check for a gift shop or something? I've already had one asthma attack today, and this dust farm is exactly what I don't need. A gift shop might have cigarettes. Exactly. Had a girl. Hello? Mr. Wow! An animatronic. That's what amazing. will it be, Mr. Dumet, sir? <laughs> I'll have a packet of cigarettes, please. A packet of cigarettes, please. Hello? Hello? A packet of smokes. I figured it was too good to be true. Never mind. Thank you, Robo Bowman. Certainly, sir. Whatever you wish. <laughs> no fucking way. Thank you very much, my mechanical friend. Much appreciated.
morning to you all. I'm Chester Bell, Assistant Director at the Federal Bureau of Investigation. At approximately 0530 local time, a team led by Special Agent Hector Monday and supported by law enforcement officers conducted a raid of a motel room just outside Birmingham, Alabama to apprehend Manny Sherman, the man known as the Beast of Arkansas. Using state-of-the-art psychological profiling techniques, Special Agent Monday and members of his task force not only identified their suspect, but predicted his movement with unerring accuracy. I'm delighted to say we have our man. Yes! Yes! Oh, of course it was exact change. Damn it! Next round's on me. Promise. Yes! Come to daddy. Oi! Oi! Life would be so much easier with that in my jacket pocket. Thank you, Lord. Ha! What? No, come on, you piece of shit. Don't do this to me. <sighs> Antique rubbish. Give them to me. Give me my cigarettes. Right, you. That's it. I'm gonna go and get my key grip, 
and they are gonna kick the shit out of you. Hey, Charlie. Yeah, I'm still in the bar. I think it's dinner time. We should get everyone else. Okay, I'm coming. And I'm coming back for you with a fucking pry bar. Are you alone in there? Who's that behind the bar? What? Had a thought on an intro segment. You want to shoot now? Yeah. If we get it shot and in the bank, maybe Charlie will stop rewriting everything I come up with. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sure. What? Nothing. Just give me a sec and I'll be good to go. I'm supposed to buy nothing is eating away at you? Yes. How many times have you cleaned that lens? I'm just prepping my gear. Really? Yeah. Always focusing on the detail, Mark. What about taking a huge risk and just do something? I watched you fuss for a whole week before you turned down that job offer, all because you had to take one extra train to get there. The job wasn't the right move. The train thing confirmed it. Flimsy. I don't buy it. You don't have to buy it. Come on, let's just shoot this. Let's use natural light so we can do it alone. Didn't the lobby have skylight? I don't remember. I just want to look decent. You look good in any light. I'm not worried. Are you trying to butter me up? Yes. Is it working? Marginally. <laughs> I'll take it. Mark, why are you letting them all think I broke up with you? I feel like if Jamie knew the truth, she might back off. I mean, they all just assumed. I can't decide if that's sweet or selfish, or both. Before we... Look, can I say something? We agreed that we're sticking to just the job. Right. Which is why you can't just roll up and drive by psychoanalyze me. I... Okay. You're right. That wasn't fair. I'm sorry. We don't need to rehash stuff. Let's just work. No, you're right. I, um... Uh... You're right. We agreed. I'm sorry. Look, let's go find some light and get started. Thanks for doing this. You're only asking me because your arms are too short for a good selfie angle. My arms are not short. <laughs> Where to? Uh, the balcony would make for a cool angle. Let's find a way up there. How's the new place? It'll do for now. Do you like it? It's just a place to keep my shit in crash. Short-term lease, so I can take my time to find something I really like. That's... Mm, smart plan. You said I needed to be out, so I got out. I was complimenting you. Yeah, just saying. I was worried you'd be sleeping on the couch in the studio while you obsessed over finding the perfect place with the right wall color near the proper train station or bus stop or... Maybe... Whoa, there, bucko. I was just checking for light. Remember our talk about boundaries? I need my room to be my private, safe place. Sometimes I'm glad we went to therapy. Other times, it makes for some weird-ass rules. So, since we can't do it tomorrow, is next weekend okay to come and get my stuff? There's something back here.
So if Dumet catches us in here, are we breaking one of his rules? He did say not to go wandering. And we did practically bust the door down and get in here. We? So maybe we should take care. Probably. Huh. Guess we're not totally alone. Yeah, I feel like Dumet is the kind of dude who loses his shit if you break his rules. Oh, what was your first? <laughs> shit. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of me. This takes me back. I used to carve the hell out of my desk in middle school. Rebel. There's gotta be a way through. Look at this wallpaper. This is old as hell. Everything here is old as hell. Sherman, born January 1, 1956. Come on. You know all this. What do you want? What's this? Huh. You've been doing your research, haven't you, Special Agent Monday? What are my favorite television programs? Describe my first pet? What were your friends like as a child? What is this? Taking a survey, you're trying to learn something. Would it kill you to be direct? You wanted to know what inspired me? As if I wasn't an original? Well, maybe there was one man I found myself a little fascinated by. Henry Howard Holmes. Why? Because he was numero uno. America's first, 
The guy invented the trade. He set the benchmark, you know? Learn your history, Monday. Read a book. You think because I stuck a blade in some people and get off on it, I'm not smart? I, uh, allegedly killed 13 people before you got smart enough to find me. Looks like Dumet is trying to preserve things. Can't be easy all the way out here. I like antiques as much as the next person, but at some point you have to give up the ghost. Rod is gonna set in. Right, that's it. What? But since we got here, I've been smelling something faint, distant. Can't place it, it's decay. Old house. Island beaches with dead fish, animals in the wood. Could be anything. Whatever it is, it's dead as hell. Keep your head down. This should work. Mark, you okay in there? I'll be right back.
You can do this. High. My vertigo is saying otherwise. What are you worried about, Miss? Always be camera ready. You look amazing as usual. Hey, check this out. It's his hat. Who? H. H. Holmes. <laughs> Fuck! You okay? No! I just... This fucking thing popped out of nowhere. <laughs> See? W what is it? Some kind of animatronic? Yeah, a fucked up looking one. <sighs> it can't hurt you. It scared you. It scared you twice. Hey, Charlie, it's eight. Dinner time. Damn it. We didn't get anything. There's still time. Come on, let's not keep Charlie waiting or we'll never hear the end of it. Hey, be civil with Charlie. He's the one who chose to be uncivil blowing up on me when all I did was my job. I'm the one doing the talking on camera, not him. Come on, you came in hot on him and you know it. Not that you're wrong, but you know he meets anger with more anger. This is on him, Mark, not me. The rest of us are tired of watching you guys fight. And I'm tired of having those fights. He's just jealous. Jealous? Yeah, he doesn't like that I'm the one getting invited on to talk show. You mean talk show? Point is, I'm the one people see on screen, so they want to talk to me, and he's being a baby about it. I can't say half the shit he writes. It may look good on the page, but there's more to it. I'm trying to help, and he throws it back in my face. Because you... Because he thinks you're just trying to get content for your showreel. What if I was? That's how directors have to be. It's their job. They have a vision. Ego has to play into it a little bit. That's why I just shut up and point the camera. That doesn't mean he has to be an asshole. No, but imagine if you were in his shoes, 40-something still waiting for your big break. Kate, this show is the closest he'll ever have to success. I guess. 
Doesn't matter. One way or another, I am moving on from Lonet Entertainment. I guess... I thought we'd move on together, like a team. Mark... Look, this isn't your passion. It's just a job for you until you get your name out there as a photographer. You can't expect... I know. I hate this shitty documentary stuff. Charlie has got a clue about how to frame a shot, let alone tell a story. Then get on with it. You're right. Charlie would replace us in a second if he wouldn't be inconveniencing himself. He's using us. I deserve better than this. So do you. We all do. Kate! Mark! Dinner is on. Aren't you hungry? Yeah, on our way! Great! Did he hear us? Obviously, Mark. Hey guys. Think it's okay if we pour some wine? God, please do. Has anyone seen Mr. Dumet? Shouldn't we wait for him? Just pour Mark. Who doesn't show up to their own dinner party? None of you did anything to piss him off, did you? No, Dad. <laughs> him not showing certainly tracks with every other lawn at entertainment inside source. Come on, Kate. Hello? Mr. Dumet? Dinner time! Ah, Mr. Dumet! I love what you've done with your hair. We started on the wine. Hope that's all right with Dumet? you. Dumet? Yeah, that dude ain't coming. Wait, what? why? He saw all the snide things you tweeted from his limo. I didn't. What are you talking about, Jamie? He got back aboard the ferry and left. What? When? Right after we got to our rooms. He just left. You're sure? Can't be. You must be mistaken. I'm not blind. I know what I saw. Why would he leave? That makes no sense. They're in a big ass hurry. Guess you were right. There was some kid here. I saw them together when I was looking for my room. It must be his kid, right? Didn't he say something about family? I don't remember. Either way, why did they leave? Does that mean we're the only ones here? Why would he invite us here and to dinner and then just leave? I'm sure he has his reasons. Who knows what could have cropped up? Maybe he ordered pizza for dinner and the dock is as far as they deliver. This could work to our advantage. How? Well, think about it. We're still here, surrounded by perfect visuals. The plan is still on track. There has to be a legit reason he left. We shouldn't leave to conclusions. Or maybe he's just plain crazy. It wouldn't be the first time Charles booked an expert who's nothing more than a serial killer groupie. Not that I want to agree with you, like, ever. <sighs> but that's what I've been saying. Demet is no damn good. But... That doesn't explain why he stitched out on us. He had to go back to establish an alibi. What are you? You know, so when our bodies wash up on the other side of the lake, he has plausible deniability. Uh, oh, God, Shit. Jamie. Can you stop trying to make this worse? You're not helping. OK, fine. Just don't come crying to me if you end up dead. What is wrong with you? I'm just saying. Guess you never found your cigarettes. The bitch of it is, I did find a machine, but just like everything else in this fucking place, it's ancient and broken. So what are we doing? We just gonna sit here and pretend to eat? What's the plan, Charlie? Maybe if we all just sit here quietly and wish really hard, the magical post-production pixies will just assemble a cut for us and send it to the network. What? 
Let's raise a glass to the post-production pixies and Charlie's brilliant plans. <sighs> Now, I would like to toast all of you, really. I know that I'm the butt of your jokes, and that's just my cross to bear as the patriarch of our little family. Mark and Jamie, the two of you do the work of a team of 10. And Kate, despite our bickering, you are the heart of this show. You keep people interested. And finally, to our newest recruit, Erin, we would be lost without you. Who else could we trust to remember every little detail? Thank you all for your hard work. Cheers. Cheers. To us. Mazel tov. What we can get here can take the show to the next level. Sure, if we have time to get it all. Yeah, he totally heard us. Nah. There's no way he'd say all that nice shit if he heard us. Maybe we shouldn't talk about it right this second. You brought it up. <sighs> what was that, Kate? Nothing important, just spitballing some ideas. I think she'll look best if we can really make the backgrounds look as creepy as possible. Shouldn't be hard. Um, does anyone else think it's weird? Dumet hasn't showed up yet. Yeah, I don't think he's coming. What do we want to do first, Charles? You're the boss. Thank you. I think it makes sense for us to start in the lobby. There's still decent light to work with, and it's symbolically where things would begin in the murder castle. With what light's already in there, we just need to set up a couple of our own. We can make it look as if it were lit by gaslight. Perfect. What if Dumet shows up? If he tells us to stop, I'm gonna be having a strong word with him. He's put us in this position. All right, everyone grab what they need and we'll meet in the lobby. Let's be as professional as possible from here on in, please. No mistakes. Perfection. If he comes back, I don't want him to see us fucking about or arguing. Good call. We're on it. Right, guys? Fantastic. I love to hear that. Shouldn't take me long at all. Great. Great. Hello? Guys? Is that you?
something, and I won't be scared long. Damn it. Breakers. Hello? Mr. Demet? Great. Enter the creepy maintenance room in the creepy hotel on the creepy island to shoot a doc about serial killers all alone and without my stun gun. Choices, Jamie. Make better choices. This is your own damn fault. Might be time to join the 21st century, guys. God, 
something from this century. Attention, attention, this is a severe weather storm warning for the Greater Lakes area. High winds and heavy rainfall are expected by 10 p.m. Central Time. Repeat, this is a severe weather storm warning for the Greater Lakes area. High winds and heavy rainfall are expected by 10 p.m. Damn it! I had to build my own little castle, just like Holmes did. Most people like me do their business where their target lives. That's just asking to get caught. Holmes had the right idea. It's all about the honey trap. You bring me some smokes, like I asked? Lucky Reds? Yes. Oh, these are like gold in here. So yeah, a honeypot. Holmes built a hotel, a 
about a mile from the World's Fair and called it the World's Fair Hotel and bought ad space in papers alongside ads for the expo. Rubes from far and wide assumed it was the official hotel. Mon Pa Kettle, take a train in from Nebraska. Takes three days. They roll up into that joint ready to rest, get to their room, and whoops, what do you know? Holmes had a gas pipe hidden under the bed and poisons them. Or maybe he pulls a trap door on them. Maybe he separates them and makes one watch through a window while he slits the other's throat. That's the advantage of a honeypot. No shortage of targets. <laughs> That's why I picked all those houses north of the airport. The whole neighborhood was scheduled for demolition, and yet all those lovely realtor ladies must not have gotten the memo. Call up as a contractor. Tell them I'm flipping. Have them meet me out there. And look at that. We're the only two people for miles. The first couple times I wait for a plane to fly over just to hide their screams, but after a while I realized they could scream as loud as they wanted. No one was going to hear a thing. That's what I remember most. Those screams. You can try to understand why I am the way I am. You can forensic science up all the data you want, but you'll never know. You'll never know, Monday. You'll never really know how it feels when you watch the fire burn out of somebody. How are we looking, Jamie? Little electrical drama, but we're about good to go. This looks great. Very gaslight. Mm, if we had a grip with some foil, I could get a good flicker effect going. This would be fine. I just got a bit more to do once Kate's standing there. Shouldn't be more than a few minutes. Hey, thanks for that stuff you said at dinner. It was nice to hear. We're all on the same side. Sometimes we forget. What the hell? Guys, guys, somebody's in here with, with me. Oh, God.
Just breathe. Just breathe. Hey. You're okay now. You're safe. What? Did you see him? Come on. <laughs> he... he was... Somebody was right there. In there with me. Eric, it's just a dummy. No, it was not a dummy. He... he had a hat on, like H.H. H. Holmes. Charles, you're working her to death. Now she's hallucinating shit from the show? I did not... Nothing bad happened, Erin. You're okay. No one is in there. Let's all just calm down, get Erin back to her room for a rest. I'm not fucking tired. Let's go. Come on, Erin. Ah. There you are. I think Erin's shown signs of serious pluck, wouldn't you say? Now, where's our wayward host, Mr. Dumet? Apparently, he's left the island. How very rude not to stay for dinner. Charlie managed to rally the troops, though, and a good thing. For the road ahead is full of challenges. I can only observe, and it can be frustrating to watch. In some ways, I envy you. I only record events. You get to shape them. You'd better get back to things before one of our friends makes a poor choice on their own. <laughs>